Hi there, I will show you how easy it is to install a single or double automatic sliding door on any curtain wall panel in Revit using a ready-made family from Structural Detail Store. With a simple click, transform any curtain wall panel into an automatic sliding door with controls to adjust the door opening sense and very few parameters to adjust. First, let's create a simple curtain wall in Revit. So I just opened a new uh, project in Revit using the architectural template and what we are going to do is add a simple um, uh, curtain wall uh, very quickly. Now what we want to do is uh, transform a single uh, curtain wall glazing panel into an automatic sliding door. To do this, once we've downloaded the family from the, from the library, all we have to do is load this family into our project. So go to insert, low and uh, locate the files that were downloaded. Usually it's in the downloads uh, folder. I'm going to go ahead and uh, insert first the double automatic sliding door and then I will do the same for the single because we are going to use both doors. Both families have been uh, loaded into the project and now all we have to do is select the actual glazing panel that we want to replace with an automatic sliding door. First let's do this panel here and uh, install a double sliding door select the panel and from the properties menu find your double automatic door once i click on this family it will automatically be inserted and replace the glazing panel the door uh, adjusted itself automatically and uh, inherited the width and height of the curtain wall panel based on the grid we installed earlier Let's do the same for a single door. Select the panel again and this time select the single automatic sliding door family. And there you have it. Two automatic doors instantly replacing a curtain wall panel, inheriting their um, uh, width and height of the panel. We have a double door and a single door. Let's have a look in our plan view. This is our um, single door. Select the door. We can invert the sense of opening. Uh, if we want the opening leaf to be one of the two sides, we can simply invert the sense of opening and also invert which leaf um, is opening, the left one or the right one. So for instance, if this is our exterior of the building, we will want our uh, opening leaf to be on the outside. So let's go ahead and change the vertical orientation. Let's have a look. There you go. The opening leaf is on the outside. For a single door, we can do the same. Uh, sorry, for the double door, we can do the same. Uh, for double doors, it doesn't make sense to change left and right. It only has the vertical orientation. Uh, if you click it once, the opening leaf will be on the inside. We want it on the outside. So it's that easy. Let's have a look at a few of the parameters we can adjust. Select our double door family. Click edit type. Of course, there are some uh, materials we can change. The glass material, the top mechanism, the automatic door mechanism cover, we can change that material. And we can also change the material for the door frame. Uh, I'm not going to do this now. It's straightforward. There's only three parameters we need to control. First one is the offset. Currently, it is set to zero. Let's see what this does. Uh, this uh, parameter does. 
Um, we're currently in the plan view and you can see if you hover over your curtain wall, the center line of the curtain wall appears. Our uh, automatic door is placed directly onto that center line. The fixed panels of the door are on the uh, curtain wall center line. If we want to change the offset, let's make it 30 and see what happens. It will offset the door backwards by 30 millimeters. Let's bring it back to zero. So this is one of the parameters. We can offset the door in relation to the curtain wall center line. The next parameter we can control is the um, door panel frame width. Currently it is only 30 millimeters. It's a slim frame. We can change it to 60 just to see the difference. Hit apply. And you see that the door frame immediately changed from 30 millimeters to 60. And let's try 100 millimeters just to see the difference. And take it back to 30. Hit apply. And the also the same also stands for the single door uh, family. The last parameter is the glass thickness. It's currently set to 16 millimeters. Let's change it uh, sufficiently so we can see the difference. I've changed it to 50 millimeters. Apply and we'll see that the, each door panel has thickened. Let's take it back to 16 millimeters. Hit apply and OK. We can see that the door mechanism is uh, protruding a little bit outside of our curtain wall uh, mullions. We can simply change the offset. I will offset the door to 35. Hit apply. And it's now flush with uh, the curtain wall mullions. Again, we can change all the materials of our automatic door. We can change the material for the top mechanism, the door frame, and the glass material. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to replace any curtain wall with an automatic door. It automatically adjusts to the um, uh, panel, to each panel uh, sizing. You see here, if I move, if I change the curtain wall grid, how the door automatically adjusts to my changes. It's very easy to use. And uh, once more, you can get these uh, two families from our uh, online uh, Revit library at Structural Detail Store. They are offered at a very reasonable price. Uh, include them in your Revit uh, library and use it in almost any project you want. Thank you for watching.